Sean Diddy Combs may have thought he bought himself out of trouble after quickly settling his first lawsuit with Cassie, but now two more lawsuits are looming, prompting him to step aside as the chairman of his company, Revolt, while 50 Cent is dropping more evidence that is damning against the singer, along with his previous bodyguard now going on record after being mentioned in Cassie's lawsuit. <sighs> this is getting ugly. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And yes, innocent till proven guilty. However, Diddy was never proven innocent or guilty. He just settled. And it wasn't a very good look for a lot of people. Now, two more lawsuits have come forward. And let's be honest, a lot of lawsuits have suddenly now just quickly come in as the statute of limitations, I guess in New York it is, uh, expired over the Thanksgiving week. So there were a lot of claims that came in, one against um, uh, Jamie Foxx and several others. But a lot of it just felt like, all right, get this in quick because we have to right now. Uh, we will get into some of those cases as they seem more serious. But I'm focusing on Diddy Day because, yeah, a lot is coming out now that is not adding any uh, help for him at all. Uh, I want to start here before we get to the 50 cent claims, which are pretty bad. I want to start with his former bodyguard, who's previously called out. And we actually reported on here about his sort of obsession with Will and Jada and how he thought they were trying to hook up uh, with J-Lo at the time. Well, his ex head of security is now speaking on the Cassie claims. Now, he was mentioned in the lawsuit. It's important to know Roger Bonds, the former security staff, apparently tried to stop a situation that Cassie was in. And now he is reacting. He posted pictures of himself with Cassie. This is not meant to be threats or snitching or anything like that against Cassie or Diddy or anyone else. This is me telling my truth as I truly remember it for two reasons only. First, because I have four daughters. So on all dudes, my truth as I seen it, saw it, and was involved with it for years. Now, again, it's a little confusing how he's written that, what that actually means, but there was another post that he made and posted that's now been deleted where he commented here, now that my name is involved, I will tell my truth on all caps. Uh, I'm willing to tell my truth because for so many years I was quiet. Nothing matters now but family. And so he's prompting his, uh, putting it out there like he's going to come clean. Now, again, what is he waiting for? What's Who's he going to come clean to? Is this a way to sort of get more attention like he did previously? Is he credible? These are all the big questions. Again, now another one. Never keep your word when the reason you kept your word no longer exists. Diddy's former head of security addresses the lawsuit. He's, he's, he's teasing all of this. Um, and then some people are commenting. So as long as he was paying everyone, he was willing to hide his behavior? Hmm. And uh, loyalty is why you kept your word, but now no longer exists. He's getting a lot of backlash of like, well, why would you give out now? You should have given it then. Is it too late? Can he still be credible now? Can he change his mind and come up for it? Yeah, this wasn't okay. I saw it. I did see it. And now I'm going to come out on it. I mean, I could say yes in that it was really Cassie's decision to come forward. If Cassie had asked him and he denied her, well, then, yeah, then we could call him out. But if Cassie wasn't ready and Cassie didn't want it out there, what is he supposed to do, right? I, I could see that from that extent, maybe. Uh, but this is not a good look for Diddy, that is former bodyguard, who's mentioned by Cassie in the suit, is now willing to come forward and threatening to do it. So he can say that it's not a threat all he wants or that's not snitching. I mean, it is. It is. Um, now, if he saw something wrong, he should have reported it then. Maybe he did. Maybe we'll learn more. But I, it'll be curious to see how this plays out as he's planning to come forward. But what do you guys think of this? As he was posting... More, uh, he posted some photos of her. A lot of this got deleted from his stories. The only one that still stays is this. What do you think he means here by the only reason to keep your word now longer exists? Because you got fired? Because he proved he wasn't loyal to you? Because you didn't realize the extent? A lot of reasons and ways this could go. So, not definitive. Meanwhile, 50 Cent has been trolling Diddy for weeks ever since this happened. I mean, he's been doing it before, too. They clearly don't get along. But here he is reacting to the third woman coming forward. And another one. You must be used to this, to me spending and all the cheap winding and dining. Told you. And 54321. And another one. Uh, making it clear that more and more are coming. Well, why'd you wait 20 years to tell us? Some people reacting. Come on, what happened? Um, and then here's one. What is this? What kind of baddie boy party is this? Bumma clout. Why you think I don't go to this? What is he doing? Why is he dancing around 
with his pants off in his underwear. It's weird. And then he made another point of just showing how that's Jay-Z and Puffy, Diddy, and the yellow. I guess that is that his looks like 50 Cent leaving. He's like, I'm getting out of here as Diddy's just like slapping him on the butt. 20 machine guns, only 10 months. Diddy in the back, patting on Jay-Z's butt. Nah, I ain't with it. I ain't never been with it. Bars, LOL. Uh, but Wait, here's come the one on, baby. It's hot outside. You fucking wrapped up in that blanket. Let's go jog on the beach. It's what you want my what? What you gotta say now? What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say when you put your girl on the snap. Baby, yo, baby. I mean, shit getting weird. Come on, baby. It's hot outside. You fucking wrapped up in that blanket. Let's go jog on the beach. It's what you want my what? What you gotta say now? What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say. When you put your girl on the snap. So I got to share 50 cents caption here because I agree with them. Damn, why would he even post this S out? And if he's posting this kind of stuff out publicly at the time, what was he doing privately? Right? Like this is, this is bad. Look, man, why is Cassie hiding under his blanket? And why is he talking to her like that? And then why is he sharing it? This is like next level Jada Pinkett Smith type of stuff. Uh, and, and worse, it feels like to me, all of this just is just so hard to watch and cringe. I'm just like, this is, this is not good, man. I, I, I don't know. And then what do you think of 50 cent trying to like basically troll him like this? A lot of people get mad at him. Don't even care about the victims. He just cares about trolling Diddy nasty. Um, uh, you're the only one who ain't scared of, of Diddy. Thank you for not being a sucker like these other, uh, everybody quiet. Who said that's Cassie? That person's looked like Cass, big Cassie body was tiny. That's probably somebody else. I don't know, they're making a joke. Um, anyway, yes. <laughs> Some of these comments got to be careful. Um, it's weird, man. I, I, I don't uh, I don't like this, man. There's a lot of stuff out there that's starting to come forward that makes me uncomfortable at all of it. Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, innocent until proven guilty. Now, He's stepping aside as the chairman of Revolt. I, don't, I honestly had to look up what is Revolt. It's apparently a news, a TV network, American Music Digital Cable Network, founded by Diddy, um, launched in 2013, and a part of NBC Universal, I guess. Um, I, I, I was unfamiliar with Revolt, but he was someone involved. He wasn't doing day to day, but he was involved. Now it's important to note this is a temporary step down because it's his company, but he's. Uh, He's not letting the issues of his personal life take down the success of his personal, professional life, making the difficult decision to temporarily, temporarily step aside from his role as chairman at Revolt. Sources say he decided last week he'd make the temporary move. His goal in making the decision was not to allow the accusations he's facing to distract from Revolt's mission or success. I didn't even heard of it. Revolt is currently celebrating its 10-year anniversary and doing well under the leadership of CEO Devado Samuels. I'm told Diddy is not involved in the company's day-to-day. Uh, and yes, he quickly settled that lawsuit. The other two lawsuits say that they were essayed. Uh, one of them, Joy Dickerson Neal, essayed on camera when she was a college student back in '91. And Jane Doe, third, says that Diddy and singer Aaron Hall took turns essaying her and, uh, but you know, the, the R version of that and her friends in either 1990 or 1991. So again, these are 30 year old accusations on these other two. Diddy's rep does say doesn't mean they're not true. It just it's 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 a long time ago. It's a little harder to bring those up now. Why now? Why at the very last week? A lot of these questions are obviously going to be asked, and Diddy's using that to his advantage, saying the claims involving alleged misconduct against Mr. Combe from over thirty years ago and filed at the last minute are all completely denied and rejected by him. He recognizes this as a money grab because of Mr. Combs' fame and success. He's an easy target for accusers who will falsely falsify the truth without conscience or consequence for financial benefit. New York legislation surely did not intend or expect the Adult Survivors Act to be exploited for improper purposes. The public should be skeptical and not rush to accept these unsubstantiated allegations. It's currently unclear when Diddy steps to plan, plans to step back into revolt, so we'll see here. Um, but yeah... Uh, that's the problem with these. I don't know anything about these other ones. I just know more coming in and that is expected. He is an easy target right now. At the same time, the Cassie stuff, I think it's hard to deny. And the fact that he settled it so quickly 
is not a good look. Add to that all this other stuff that's sur that's surfacing. Man, it's not a good look. And yes, this bodyguard coming forward isn't going to help matters either. So what do you think all that? That's the update we have so far. I'm curious what you think on Diddy. Do you think this is only going to get worse? Do you think this is eventually going to get forgotten about? And this is the the the, high, the peak of it all. I want to hear your thoughts. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for alerts and smash that like button. Want to get your thoughts. Thanks so much for engaging. Leave a comment down below. And stay tuned for us to be live later this afternoon around 3 or 4 p.m. Hope to see you guys there.